Hey everybody, uh, using Emacs, uh, 52nd episode, or number episode number 52, um, I, I really, um, it's been a busy semester, so I haven't been able to do so many of these videos, uh, but I have a few free minutes in here, uh, so I thought I would throw one together. Uh, so I do hope that you enjoy it and you get something out of it. Uh, what I originally wanted to do was follow up on my day-to-day -day with org mode um, and show you how I set up um, so that I get a an email every day with my agenda, but uh, that's not that's going to be a little more involved, and because um, I have to set up a server, I have to set up email. There are a whole bunch of things going on, um, and also when I do that video, um, it's not going to be a complete walkthrough because there's just there are just too many things to do uh, in terms of configuration. Like if you're setting up an email, uh, a box to send email, there's a bunch to do there, etc. But, but I'll, I will do that overview at some point. But then I noticed this thread over on Reddit the other day. What Emacs packages have upped your game recently? And um, this is a great thread because it just it you know people are just listing all these packages that they use. So you know I'll uh, make the font bigger. Um, but so like, um, you know, there are a lot of things here, uh, you know, some things that, you know, like, okay, Helm, great, uh, you know, we all, uh, I don't use it, but, you know, I use Ivy, so it's the other side of that, um, you know, Git, Swiper, um, you know, anything by Abo, you know, and this is all great stuff. Um, and some of these uh, things in here I've, I've made videos of, uh, I edit it was mentioned, um, I haven't done smart parens because I really have to figure out how to configure that the way I would really like it. It's a very cool package. Um, you know, wgrep I may have mentioned, dumb jump I've mentioned, but now I have to check out smart jump. Um, aggressive indent I've shown. Uh, uh, this one, white space butler I have to check out. Uh, this is, there were there are tons here. You know, expand region I've shown multiple cursors. We see a lot. Ivy, you know, whatever. Um, but one that caught my eye was eyebrows, which I looked at a little bit, but it, it you know, at the time it just. Um, I just didn't pursue it, um, but I said, let me check this one out again, because there is a, a thing that I haven't been entirely happy with, in, which was in terms of maintaining not my the buffers, but my window buffer configuration. Um, and eyebrows is one of the packages that, that, um, that addresses that. And um, so we're going to take a quick look at this today. Um, there are other packages that do this. One of them is um, L-Screen. L-Screen is similar. Um, I don't know if it's being maintained as much, but the big thing I didn't like about L-Screen is it comes with default bindings that, um, that are Control-Z something, and I use Control-Z, I'm over here in Emacs, I use Control-Z um, for my personal key, uh, key map, and um, so I, I just didn't want to, um, to, to deal with changing all of that. Um, one of the older ones is something called, I think, perspective mode, um, but I was never able to get that working right. It looked like it had problems with later versions of Emacs. Um, but let's actually, let's jump into eyebrows and, and see what's what. So let me go into my configuration and let me add a section here. Um, now let's add it here, eyebrows. And um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to configure it here, um, just because, uh, and I can't, I can't do that. I've got to do Emacs list. Um, I'm not going to do the full configuration here because um, I want to play with it a little bit first. I mean, I, I, I guess I could. Um, well, I'll just leave it at this for now. So let me just evaluate this list block and install um, eyebrows mode. And what I'll do here is I'll just do eyebrows mode, you know, just to go into eyebrows mode. Um, and while I'm at it, why don't I, actually I'll, I'll, I'll commit this later. Um, so now I'm in eyebrows mode. And if you can see here, right in this configuration, there's stuff like a you know, quick tutorial to use it. Um, so I can be like, okay, well, this is the view I'm in now, but let's go into another view. So I'll do control C, W, two for view two. And it all looks the same, but let's say if now instead, uh, let's say I go to Dropbox um, org files 127.org, this is for one of my classes, 
and let's go to two windows here and I'll say let's say that's going to go to 133.org um, so I now have two different files in the upper and lower windows and if I can do control CW1 I'm back to my first view CW2 I'm back to this view and I can do CW comma and give this a tag and I can call this class notes okay great so CW ah, Sorry, sorry, didn't want that extra piece. CW1, CW2, and I can go to neither of these. So I can go to CW3, let's say, and let's make sure, let's visit a different file here. I don't know. Um, I don't even know what's in this directory. So let me see one that I don't mind sharing. Um, I was playing with Beamer, just experimenting with this, and let's split our window this way, and let's uh, edit, uh, let's uh, go to demos and Babel demo. Um, okay, so I've got a couple more files. So now I can go CW1 and I can go CW apostrophe to go back and forth between the two more frequent ones or I can go back to this one. So what it's doing is it's keeping track of the window configuration but also the buffers that are in those windows. So if I set up two or three windows for development when I'm, I'm doing uh, coding and a couple of windows for this, a couple of windows for that, it can be very useful. Uh, I can also go control C and then dot and I can choose a slot but notice I can choose class notes. Well, I'm in class notes, you know, let's go to here and go to it by name as well. So I don't have to remember, oh, it's seven is the configuration for whatever. So that's really, really cool. The only thing that, um, that seems to be missing here, and um, I'm just looking for the word save in here, um, is that it doesn't, you know, I can't save my configurations or I don't see how to save my configurations from session to session. Um, and that would be very cool. So, you know, normally I have Emacs up and running, but if for some reason I exit Emacs and come back in, I'd love to be able to be like, hey, let me just, you know, uh, let me go to um, my eyebrows window, you know, configuration three, which happens to be whatever. Um, that would be a really useful thing. Um, so that's the one thing that I don't see here, but this is a pretty cool package. Um, you know, I'm, I'm liking it. It seems to handle most of the window buffer configuration that I like. I like this idea of, I can say, like when I do development, a lot of times I'll do this where I'll have, um, or, or actually I'll do something like uh, where I'll have like code over here, some other thing over here, and then like a terminal here to run stuff. Um, but I don't like this when I'm doing other things, when I'm reading my email, when I'm working with, with uh, building an org file for a presentation. Um, so really nice package. Um, check it out. And yeah, that's it for today. So yeah, enjoy.